Welcome on my channel. Um, this is a small video about uh, a kit from Hobby Boss, the Kitty Hawk P40E. This is not an inbox review, as you can see, the plane is nearly done. Um, this is just my opinion about the kit itself from Hobby Boss and what I think about the, these easy assemble authentic kits. Yeah, um, as you can see, the kit is nearly done. And this kit was a present for my wife for my birthday. Thank you very much for that. And uh, yeah, let's take a closer look on the plane, on the kit, and on the instruction sheet and the package of the kit. Now let's start with the, the package. The Hobby Boss kits came are coming in one of these boxes. This is just the, the upper part of the box, the other part of the box is over there. And uh, the the printers is nice, not perfect, but nice. The colors are a bit too bright. And the planes are not so yellow. And they are not so yellow in the instructions too. The kit consists. Oh, there are only thirty pieces in the box. As you can see, it's an easy assembly, authentic kit. They are far pre-assembled, so yeah, it's not a kit for. Uh, for experts or for experts or advanced uh, builders and there and then they say the perfect age is over 40 so let's take a look on the instruction sheet the instruction sheet is just one leaflet uh, it's the color front page the same picture as on the box and only four steps to assemble the kit because only 30 parts you can't use all the parts because they are different versions and the step two for example and that's all and on the back side is the the paint instructions two versions are possible in this for this kit an american version from the asian theater, war theater from the americans and uh, russian land lease plain yeah and that's it uh, the kit comes in this box uh, the box is nice i like the fact that they put all parts in this plastic to protect them very fine and uh, the decals are way 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 too thick and too shiny these are the decals for the russian version um, when you put them on the plane they will not stick very well on the on, on the kit. They stick more on the fingers than on the stick, sadly. And they are very thick. You, you will see them later. You will see that on the on the Kitty Hawk. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say about the box at the moment. Now. There are only three screws. There was the the canopy in there. The wings were there, and the, the structure the, the, of the plane was there. And that's it, nothing more. Let's take a closer look at the plane. I assembled the plane or the kits and I painted that already. I gloss coated that and um, put the decals on and then I put another coat on it to reduce the shining of the gloss coat. And nevertheless, the decals are still visible. Now, it's not so bad on the upper side where when you put the decals on the darker surfaces, they are fine there and on the back. I like the small boy making we on the Japanese flag or rising sun. And uh, but on the other side, the decals are not that fine. As you can see in the light, they are still visible there, and can do whatever I want with. It's you can't remove. Um, the, the shape of the decal, it's not possible. And um, you can also see that the, the seams or panel lines are not very clear to see it. They are very bad. Well, they are better to see on kits from from Airfax or from Revit, for example. They are way way better these details. Um, if you like to, uh, if you like to to. Uh, Make that better. You need, you need a needle or something else, and rescribe the panel lines before you glue them together to make them more visible. Uh, yeah, 
I tried some new techni techniques on this model, for example for the canopy. The canopy is also just clipped together like the wings and the hole. It's not necessary to glue them. I glued them of course, uh, but normally it's not necessary. You just clip them together and that, that's it. But then you have a big, big, very big seam along the, the wings and the wool. This is the same with the canopy, it's not necessary to glue them. Just snap it on and that's it. When I tried to snap it on, uh, it wasn't possible for me because this window doesn't fit into the spare here. So after trying to snap it in, I have to cut, cut them out, snap the canopy on it and then I glue it with the clear glue um, the small windows on the side on it. It wasn't possible like written on the on the instruction sheet. And then uh, before I snapped it on it, I tried a new technique for the, the canopy. Normally I paint them freehand with a brush, but uh, these small little fine lines are not easy to paint you know, because I'm, I haven't got that piece for hand to paint them very easy. So I try to mask them, the, the canopy. I mask the canopy, glue the masking tape on it, and then I brush everything with the airbrush. Remove the can, uh, the tape, and uh, sadly I have to see that the color ran under the tape and it looked horrible, so I removed the paint again. The canopy suffered a bit, um, well, it suffered very well, uh, a bit. Uh, small scratches now on the canopy, on the glass. And uh, then I repaint them, uh, the 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 frames from uh, from hands with the brush. But no, the penny isn't that fine, and this is not my best job on the canopy. Yeah, um, I told you about the details about the panel lines, the plane. Uh, I told you about uh, the decals that they stick more on the fingers than on the plane. I put them on, put a gloss coat over it, so but they stick where they have to stick. And then I gloss coated everything and make another coat on it to remove the shining. And yeah, that's the result. It's not my best work, but it's fine. Uh, I will make another video to show you the, the, the finished kit later. And um, there's one, uh, it's not a big mistake, but it is a mistake with the two possible versions or with one possible version you can you have the opinion or the opinion to use an external fuel tank or a bomb uh, i have to say if you like to build the american version you have to use the fuel tank you can't use the bomb when you are a rivet counter it's not written there but it's not written there but this bomb has got the shape of a Russian bomb, not of an American, but when you're a rivet counter, you can't use this bomb. The shape of the bomb is, uh, is not the shape of an American bomb, it's the shape of a Russian FAP or an OFAP, so they're called. And uh, this is uh, just, uh, the detonator is way too small for an American version. It looks, looks to me like one of the AV1 detonators, and this is a Russian detonator, not an American. The Americans used uh, demos or uh, MCs or GP bombs. They are they haven't got this shape. Demo means demolition bomb. This was the first version of the bombs the Americans used in the World War II. The MCs and GPs were bombs they they could also use for the American airplanes and for the British airplanes too. They have the possibility to they have one hook on one on the on one side. For the British planes, the MCs and GPs, or the multiple purpose bombs, or the general purpose bombs, they have one hook on the one side, on one side for the British bomb uh, planes, and two hooks on the other side for the American planes. So, if they ran out of ammunition for their planes, they can also use the British bombs or the American bombs. Well, also both was possible. And uh, the demo bonds have got two hooks on one side and no hook on the other side, so they can only use for the American planes. And I think on the war theater in Asia, at this time, they will mostly use the demo bonds and, and 
This is the wrong shape in the form, the wrong detonator. Yeah, that's it about the plane and my opinion about her. Yeah, I forgot my opinion about the plane. Um, well, the kit. Um, the kit is very reliable. It costs around about five or six euros here in Germany. So if you want to make, have a plane for a weekend with not too much details, a fast, quick build, the Hobby Boss kits in 72 scale are fine. If you are a beginner, this kit is great, it's easy to build and uh, you can try some new techniques and you will not um, you will not uh, too, too angry when you ruin it because it's not too expensive. And uh, when you are an advanced modeler or an expert, this is not the right kit for you. And uh, yeah, that's it. For me, this kit is fine. I can. I'm not an expert. I'm, I'm not advanced. I'm still a beginner with the airplanes. And um, this was the right choice for my wife to present me that kit. And uh, I have another one of a hobby was too. The in an LA7 Russian airplane. And uh, when I start this kit, I will make uh, an update or more updates about the hobby was kits. So if you have any questions or you want to leave a comment, then leave it below under the video. And uh, if you have further, yeah, that's it. I hope you liked the video and we will see you also in the next video. Bye.